a somber and humble Diana Lovejoy is led into court in shackles. Doesn't that smell nice? The real housewife of Carlsbad, California, charged with plotting to murder her estranged husband, Greg Mulvihill. And hiring shooting instructor and former Marine, Weldon McDavid, as her hitman. Why did you try them together? Because it is so clear that this is a conspiracy case where they, you know, did this together. Now a lucky to be alive Greg would come face to face with Diana for the first time since the shooting. As well as the trigger man, Diana allegedly paid a mere thousand bucks to kill him in a late night ambush. The gunman, lying in the sniper position, shoots six to seven more rounds. Greg takes the stand to tell how he'd caught a quick glimpse of McDavid hiding behind some brush with a rifle aimed directly at him. About the time I realized what I was looking at, um, it felt like I had been hit in the back. The next thing I remember was starting to run. As McDavid continues shooting until he and friend Jason Kovach are out of range. And we ran the other direction, away from the, the gunfire. Diana shows no emotion as Greg testifies, and her attorneys continue to deny she had any intention of harming Greg, claiming McDavid was only supposed to scare Greg into staying away from Diana and their little boy after accusing him of sexually abusing both of them. Miss Lovejoy had gone to the Carlsbad Police Department and made a complaint stating that Mr. Mulvihill had sexually assaulted her in her sleep. She said that she suspected that Mr. Mulvihill was molesting her boy. But the court would hear that a Child Protective Services investigation had found no evidence to support Diana's shocking allegations against Greg. He had to go through numerous psychological evaluations. He had to see psychiatrists, psychologists, sex therapists. The unanimous conclusion was that he, this was made up, that he had not molested his little boy. And they ended up determining that actually he was the, the better parent of the two. So you don't believe her? Absolutely not. Assistant prosecutor Jody Breton would tell the court Diana simply didn't want to pay Greg his $120,000 share of a house they owned, nor give him shared custody of their son as ordered by a divorce court judge. Instead, the prosecution tells the court Diana chose to kill two birds with one stone by paying Weldon McDavid to kill her child's father. Diana Lovejoy sets about looking for someone, and she finds that someone when she finds Mr. McDavid. But McDavid would testify that, like Diana, he had no intention of harming Greg or the friend that was with him the night of the shooting. I fired six shots in the air, and once they started running, I ceased fire. It's about the strangest defense you will hear for an attempted murder charge. The shooter insists he's such a good shot that if he wanted the ex-husband dead, he'd be dead now. Marines are taught if they wanted to kill someone, two to the center, mass, one to the head. Breton doesn't buy it, telling the court how McDavid had deliberately lured Greg into a death trap with the false promise of selling him information that would help him in his divorce from Diana. And you could discharge a firearm and there'd be no reason for you to call the police and tell them afterwards? I didn't call them because I knew that they would view that as me discharging a firearm, but I was actually defending my life. From a flashlight? Breton alleges McDavid had his rifle cocked and ready to fire before Greg and his friends spotted him. And Breton tells the jury there is only one decision they can make. He's still guilty attempted murder because he took that one shot. But attorneys for Weldon McDavid and Diana Lovejoy continue to insist they both were only trying to protect her innocent child. He was simply trying to help stop molestation of a three-year-old. Next. This suddenly happens when the jury returns to deliver its verdict. Her family is screaming, help her, help her. <laughs> You could see Miss Lovejoy look over at her defense attorney and like, what happened? Like, just shock disbelief. 